Yeah, so we're at River Park Square right now, and I want to just get right into it. Look at how gorgeous this is. You might have noticed some of these uh, floral arrangements and art pieces up here. We have one of the artists, Ava Barony, with us, and she is going to explain just a little bit of the process of how you guys put these together. So show me, you've got a couple flowers. Okay. How do you guys actually make this happen? Well, first I'll give you just a bit of background. This is an art commissioned piece for River Park Square, and she is made mostly out of nature. Most of her upper body and her head is a real wasp nest and real flower petals, real wow. dried flowers. And then she's got a chicken wire structure underneath we cover in silk flowers. And all I do <laughs> is, you can't see the chicken wire unless you really look, um, but I just kind of, we do a lot of rainbows. So we try to block in colors and then make it look as natural as possible. Um, and how many flowers do you think you guys use per piece? Um, this is definitely like our largest installation and our probably most elaborate and probably most meaningful to us personally. Um, so this one, <laughs> I would estimate anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000 flowers, but wow. that's just an estimate. It, it, it varies by piece. And about how much time do you think goes into, like what, what went into her? And so we spent about two weeks mm -hmm. making her. Um, including the infrastructure underneath and all the engineering that went into actually creating a stable piece and then the time it took to just coat her in flowers and finish up all the weaving on the top and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really <laughs> amazing. Obviously, uh, she is front and center right here, but then yeah. right behind there is this gorgeous little spot as well that Nate can show you for taking pictures and interacting with these art pieces as well. So this yeah. is up in River Park Square right now. You can see it anytime this ball is open, you can come on down. And then as the year continues, they say that they get different themes for the different times of the year and they can continue making these beautiful flower arrangements.